What's going on guys? Welcome back to our Let's Play here on Ark Aberration. Now as you can see behind me, our Reaper King baby has finally grown up and he is absolutely massive. Um, the box that I had him in, he sort of glitched out a little bit when he went from the baby stage to the juvenile stage. And then I ended up having to tear up half my floor over there and replace it. But yeah, I did manage to get the imprint. It was about... I managed to get it at about half seven, eight o'clock in the morning. I came on to make sure and it was about 95% matured. But as you can see from his stats, it's been a day or two since uh, i done that last bit of recording. And uh, getting the imprint made his health jump from 11k up to 41k, which is insane. And that's Boss Roxy coming online. I really need to turn my notifications off. The melee jumped up, I think, from 250 up to 403. Um, most of the other stats didn't change too much. Like, food doesn't matter, oxygen doesn't really matter. The stamina jumped up, I think, by about 400. The weight, I think, may have jumped up a bit. But I did run around on him just a little bit. I've not pumped any levels on him yet, so I just how comes he's still sitting on 37 there. Now, in between the last episode and this one, because we lost our glow tail, I went and grabbed a few of them. I grabbed the 180 that I did tame from the cave, and we got a 162 from the cave, and we got a Christmas coloured one. So I've been breeding them up, and I've patched four of the little ones. They've been growing up for most of today, to be honest with you. They need care in an hour and 21 minutes. And they are on... Where is your bar? 81.9%. So if I manage to get the imprint on them, it's going to be in like the last 2% of their maturation phase, which is uh, always a close call. It's the same with the Ravagers. Uh, I think it's just the sort of server settings that we've got. Now, I did go running around a little bit, just uh, doing bits and pieces. Then I went through the cave looking for more 180 glow tails. I couldn't really find any, so then from the cave, I jumped on one of the rock drakes and flew down to the red zone, like the red cave. And I managed to get a 162 feather light, which is a male. And I think they look absolutely awesome. Like little hawk eyes. Yeah. But I'm going to wait and I'm not going to bother taking this one out with me anywhere. I'm going to wait until I find a female high level and then we could breed them up. Because uh, the sound that they make is quite entertaining. I don't really hear the sounds from the glow tails all that well. And the dog one, the bulb dog, his sounds are, I don't know, a little bit jarring. The shine horns sounds are insanely jarring. But I did say we're going to start this episode off by taking this guy out for a spin. But um, before we do that, might as well pump some levels on him. See, uh, how is it he's at like 41k health and it only goes up by like a k each time? Um, let's get him up to what, say 60,000 health should be alright, considering he's not got a saddle. Um, we're going to want that weight up a little bit. Stamina, I'm not too sure what the stamina drain on them's like. It's just uh, a little bit of a run around. As long as it's not like the Giga, where it drains in like 12 seconds and then you have to wait half an hour for it to regen. I don't think his stamina is going to be an issue. Like running around then. Yeah, no problem with that. Um, speed. He's on 160% after the imprint, so I think that's alright. I think the mess, the mess, the rest will just whack into melee. Now, I can't remember what damage he was doing before I just pumped all of them levels, so we're about to go find out. Now, what attacks? Got a bite. Okay. I'm not too sure what is it, 513 damage? Yeah, 513 damage on the bite. Now obviously we don't want one of our shoulder buddies active, so I didn't bother bringing one out with us. Um, I don't know if they could, well, if we can be picked off by crabs. We'll find out in a sec though. 
Mad. No, he didn't really have a chance to attack us though, did he? No, on this guy though. Give a little tail swipe. Slow him down. And he's dead. I should have really healed up before I left though. But I don't think it's going to be too much an issue with how much health this guy has. And considering that he hasn't got a saddle, these guys ain't doing a lot of damage. And oh my god, it was a 180 small Um, uh, That's why I want a shoulder buddy on me at all times. Uh, I'm just so glad it can't tell me the gender of them because if that was a female, I will have been kicking myself all day long more than I'm going to be doing now. Shoot it. Ah. Oh. Shoot it thing. Okay, let's see what levels we got. Got another nine to pump on him. And I am referring to him as a him, not because it's gender specific, but because it's a Reaper King. I can't see it being anything other than a him. The Reaper Queens, the she's, I'm assuming. But yeah, let's go record all of this stuff. Yeah, he does a fair bit of damage. And if I remember correctly, he should have like a swipe. So, oh no, that's the shoot in the wall thing. And that's the knockback. Wow, that's a bar knockback. So give it another move. Or just kill him. Why not? Let's go wreck some more face. Come on. Five seventy three damage. Now for a low level that this was, it was a 54 Reaper Queen that I got impregnated by. And with me doing this sort of damage and this sort of health, I think it's a, we're definitely going to have to go for a higher level one. Because the damage output on these guys is just insane. The one bad thing about them is that if you take them down into the caves, you obviously can't take like a shoulder buddy with you. Well, you can, but when you have it on, it'll give you the sort of like debuff, which means stuff will do a lot more damage to you. But running around the swamps and stuff, just wrecking face, is uh, absolutely destroyed stuff. Okay. Keeping an eye up top just to uh, hopefully not kill any more 180s. Unless they're a fish, I don't like being a fish. Come on. Yeah, so um, I'm going to run around on this guy for a little bit. And uh, we'll head back to base. And actually, when we get back to base, I can show you what I managed to find other than the feather light down in the red cave area. So yeah, I'll see you back in a bit. Alright guys, I've just come back with the Reaper King. He's now up to doing, I think it's like nearly 230, or oh, 230, 630 damage. Which ain't too bad going. I run around on him for probably about another 15, 20 minutes or so. And he's now sitting at level 182. Um, I, forgot to, I still forgot to go heal him up. So, quickly get him healed. Up to his 60k health. Just so he doesn't go through half a ton of food from the trough doing it. Come on. Any time today. And thank you. Go park him back over there. Now, as you can see, both of the spinos grew up. So I've put them in their pen and I've just sort of boarded it off around here. Um, sort of picked that up where it's there. And I've been breeding these up like every now and again until I get like four or five uh, spino eggs. How soon can these be bred again? Another 32 minutes. Yeah, I did it this morning and I did it last night before I went off to bed. And we've got a couple of fertilized spino eggs ready to go. We've got a couple of fertilized feather light eggs. They're from like the really low level ones. You've got a level 190 after tame, which isn't great. I think that was like a 104. And then a level 88, which is just garbage completely. 
But as you can see, we've got a ton more Drake eggs, and on my search to go get the Featherlight egg, I came across this guy. A level 222, which is the same level that one of ours is already. I think it's this guy here. This guy was a 222 as well. Now, hopefully hatching it, I'll get some better colours than the ones on this guy. This one just looks like the basic sort of blue with red feathers. Um, we've got the Christmas coloured one, which is my favourite one still. Now, I did fight one, which was like an albino one, which was like just pure white. And it looked epic. It was only like a level 12. But, yeah, if I'm hoping for a colour one... Then it's definitely going to just be the all white one because it did look insane. But um, for now, I'm probably going to call it a night for now. Well, after I get the imprints on these guys because their stats pretty much double like their recharge values. Um, one of the 460 charges I'm going to be replacing with the male that we have in here at the moment. Who is only a 300 I believe. Are you the male? Uh female or male yeah the male is only a 300 charge so we definitely want to replace the male with one of the higher charge ones so probably the higher level one the 276 we'll be replacing him and then we'll have another three glow tails to go out and uh, get killed but what I'll do is that first thing tomorrow morning when I hop on to do my bits and pieces I'll put the Drake egg in, uh, the Drake egg on incubation over at Steak Space because I've not got enough air conditions going here yet. And when it hatches, I will bring you back for that. So yeah, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. We're back guys. It's actually a good 12 or 16 hours after our last little bit of recording. Now, I did show you the egg, I did bring it over to Steak Space because he's got all the air conditioners set up to hatch the Drake eggs. And we was hoping for either, I think I said, like a neon blue or a albino, like the all white one, which is one that I really, really want. And uh, we did get a little bit fortunate because the one that have come out, let me just go upstairs and show you, it's growing up as we talk. But yeah, it is like insanely, I think it's cyan rather than blue, but it's like nice and bright. Which will actually go well in our collection, I think. It's at 42.9% matured, it needs care in about an hour and a half. And yeah, it's been growing up for about seven and a half hours, so I hatched it this morning. And it's around about, about seven or eight in the evening now. But yeah, I make I think hopping on every now and again to make sure that he's got enough venom on him, and then um, running around on stakes Megalosaurus, I think it's called. Um, I don't know what he's done with it now. I did leave it down here, healing next to the plant species. But yeah, I was running around on that, taking out the nameless. But yeah, I think today's episode is pretty much just going to be running around on our new sort of tames and just testing them out. So uh, yeah, I think for now i'll probably wait for this guy is this guy yeah this guy to uh mature until he's ready to get a saddle and we can actually take him out for a test spin just like we did with the reaper king earlier well not earlier for me it was yesterday for me but earlier for you and yeah hopefully see how that goes so see you back again back guys it's actually been another day or two later or Drake, Rock Drake, has fully grown up and we've elegantly named him Falcor. Probably showing my age with that little bit of a reference there. Now, I did a bit more breeding with the Spinos and apparently... Oh. Um, I did actually put them on Wonder. I forgot to pick up the fertilised egg though. Whoops. My bad. Uh, that one's ready to mate. This one should have a cooldown now. Yeah, I was sorting out my recording equipment and I forgot to pick up the egg. So, whoopsie daisy. Yeah, the red wasn't a mutation. So, I don't know, but I've made the male who's now got the higher stats and I swapped him out for the red one. And this guy still has the one random mutation. But as to what it is, I'm assuming that it's a stat mutation because it doesn't look any different from its original mother, which is this one. And, uh... 
this one have a stat mutation? Okay. 361, 5700. Yeah, I don't know what the mutation is. Must be something very sort of like minor, but yeah, I sort of breed them up every now and again. Also, in between the last cut and this one, I've been breeding up the glow tails and I swapped out the higher level male for the lower level one. So now when we breed them, we've got just the higher sort of stats on them. Now, I also did go hunting for some feather lights and I did manage to find a 180 female, I think it is. Yeah, 180 female, which is the max level, and a 162 male. I'm still on the lookout for higher ones. Now, the reason that I'm going out hunting for all of these 180s now is because I'm actually looking to probably end this series soon. And that's purely because we've pretty much done everything that there is to do on Aberration, barring the last two caves and the boss battle. The boss battle, it looks like you need at least three or four people to do, and unfortunately there's just not that many people on my server. This server is more a single player server for me than it is a multiplayer, just so that my world's constantly running. And the only other person that I've got on here on the Aberration is Steak and Noodles. And uh, as you can see, he's currently passed out at our base for some random reason. He's been here for about three or four days. So yeah, I think he's sort of sick of Aberration at the moment as well. But before we end up the series, what I will be doing is more than likely uploading a bunch of dinos that we want to keep for uh, any future series. So the Grinch will definitely be, in, like, be uploaded, so save on to my character sort of details. Um, probably our new guy, Falcor, if he doesn't die in our test run on him. Um, not sure about the 222 Beast. Don't know what else. I definitely want to go for a higher level Reaper King to take with us. Um, probably one of the Yankees. Uh, I want to make sure that we've got a set of all of the shoulder buddies to take with us. Which is how comes I've been now hunting for 180. So we've got a 1 180 glow tail. And I think the other one was like a 172. Um we got yeah, we've got two no, we've got three 180 bulb dogs, so that's no problem. We've got one 180 Feverlight with a 162 Feverlight, so they'll probably be coming with us. And I think the Shine Horns, we've only got one 180 Shine Horn, which I found so far. So I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for them. But as for now, we're going to take uh, Falcor out for a bit and see how he handles. But first of all, we're definitely going to want to pump his health. So we've got 34 levels. It's been a couple of days. I did go running around on him, but I've not actually pumped any levels on him at all. So he is a 222. I've got the full imprint on him. And we're sitting at just under 13k. How much per point? It's about 500 per point. So let's get him up to, say, 22k. Uh, we always want to go up to at least 2k stamina. And then his weight put one point in and then the rest of our points is just going to go into melee. Nice. And then we'll quickly heal up before heading out. I need to get some, uh, whatchamacallit, organic polymer. Yeah, when you're running the... Uh, actually, instead of getting organic polymer, I should have a bunch of ascendant pieces, chest pieces. Uh, I've got one sitting in here. Uh, you know what? We're going to take that. Just because it's better armor than the one we've got. And we shouldn't have to actually paint it either. Uh, get off. Take the skin off of that. We put that one on. And I don't know which one's got the paint job on. I think it's this one. And there we go. Yeah, so we don't actually have to get any organic polymer. That's good then. So this guy is all fully healed. Now, the other Spino I didn't just kill, I've actually just uh, let him go outside here and I've just left him on Wonder and Aggressive. So he's just killing everything and anything out here to stop any badness from attacking us as we come and go from our base. But I've got oh, a bit of a voice break there. I've got my Light Buddy on, so there's going to be no accidental 180 um, kills while we go out on this guy. Okay, we've got a crab. 
I've got to get away from the base a little bit. Get rid of these Sarkos and half a ton of Piranha. Um, you know what, let's just get rid of anything bad so then I can quickly hop off and change his harvest settings because otherwise he's going to get super overweight very quickly. Right, so we've got resource harvesting, he's got enough food on him now. Let's just see what sort of damage we get this guy up to. We're at a uh, 4 full in per hit at the moment, which ain't too bad. I'm fairly sure crabs can grab us off, so got to be a little bit careful with them. Get wrecked. Run around here. We get out of the water. Yeah, the crabs only ever seem to try to take you off your mount if and when you're in the water. Get wrecked on level 12. Wasn't that much of a fight, was it? Oh, we've got a 180 nearby. So we'll definitely be checking the larger stuff this time around. Uh, 18, that's about times 10 off. And a 54. Um, is it going to be this bulb dog? It is not that bold dog. It's going to be a random fish or something that's in the water. Like it usually ends up being around here. Oh yeah, let's carry on wrecking face over it. Come on. Kill these two things. See how many levels we've got to pump. Oh, apparently we killed an otter. That's another thing actually I wouldn't mind getting, is a couple of other 180 otters on this map, because there's actually quite a lot of them that spawn. Yeah, see the melee boosts on these things ain't overly fantastic. And that was 8 levels and it's put our damage up by about 20. So yeah, not amazingly great, but it's not too bad. Okay, well, I'm going to do a little bit more of running around, get a little bit more levels, and uh, I'll bring you back once, hopefully, we get above 600 damage on this guy, to make him one of our better fighters. So, see you back in a sec. Right then, guys. Now, I've actually just come back from the red section, which is how comes we're over here next to the purple crystals, and I've been leveling this guy up for quite a while now. And unfortunately, not being able to reach over the 600 mark just yet. I did actually head down there to take on quite a few Reaper Queens. Because they give the most XP. But yeah, as you can see, we're doing what, 585. Which is getting close to the 600 mark. But it depends what we're fighting apparently. 566 seems to be the usual amount. But we've still got a few levels to go on this guy. So we'll definitely get above the 600 mark. Just it's not going to be in this episode. Wow, the ragdoll, that thing was going nuts. Now, I did actually come across a 180 Reaper Queen. And I've left her down there. She's not too far from our actual trap down there. So, what I will be doing in between this and the next episode is repairing that shield that we got. And then, at the beginning of the next episode, I'll probably head back down there and try to find her if she's still there, hopefully. Fingers crossed. But yeah, for today I think that's going to do it. We've uh, taken out a couple of our new tames out for a test run and there's a 180 nearby. Um, well, I'm going to have a look around for this, see if it's a shine horn, hopefully, fingers crossed. But yeah, that's going to do it for me today. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have not your first time channel, please consider subscribing for future art content and I hopefully see you all in the next one. Bye bye.